There's a new movie in town. It's called Red Dawn. It's about World War III set right here in the United States. Red being the communist takeover, of course. And these are a couple of the young survivors. I mean, these two kids are going to take on the entire communist front, almost single-handedly. And you should see what they do in this film. I'd like you to meet Jennifer Grey and Brad Savage, who are two of the Wolverines. Could you actually be that physical in real life? We were actually that physical. Well, I mean, I mean, in a, in a certain, if a, a, given a survival situation, do you think you could really survive? One would hope so. Yeah. I mean, if 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 you're the survival type of person, if you're a person that has the will to survive, which in the film a lot of people, s some people did, most didn't. Um, it just depends on on the person and and the situation. Don't you think we're soft, though? I mean, oh. we want air conditioning, we want indoor plumbing, of we course. want the yeah. nice and cook. But we, d we did three months of nothing really too nice. It was pretty rugged. I, I lived a really cushioned, very comfortable, kind life. And it was, you know, I, I was scared that I wouldn't be up to it. And you rise to the occasion because you have to. And that's part of, you know... People don't usually do things like that by choice if they have the opportunity to be comfortable. We, we didn't see a jacuzzi for three months. <laughs> 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 you know, you, you, s you said something significant, to rise to the occasion. How many of us ever really test ourselves as to what we can really physically and mentally take? We're not put in the situation. Mm -hmm. I'll give an example. Do you know the Outward Bound schools? Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with those mm -hmm. at all? They put you in a situation, which is a survival situation, and don't tell you what's going to happen. And you see how you react to that. Can you actually do it? And it is amazing how strong we really are. It was a wonderful experience doing this movie because it made me feel like I could do things that I really didn't think I could do before. Like, like for example? Like, for example, uh, really handling firearms well, you know, and really understanding how guns work and how to use them in safety precautions and being good at it. You know, it was something I'd never even considered before because I, you know, very passive, you know, as a, as a person, and I would just never consider shooting anyone or killing anyone or even having a gun in my house. And because I had to for this movie, I felt like I could do something that I never entertained the idea of doing before. I went to Israel and I saw girls your age and younger with M16 rifles standing out on the street corners. And, and because we have never been touched by war, in the United States, mm -hmm. you know, except for the Civil War a long time ago and the, uh, um, the takeover of the English, the War of Independence. We don't know war. And to, s to get that feeling, that sense of those kids carrying that, those M16 rifles, it was, it was a bone-chilling kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's hopefully what, what the film will, will show, that, that it's a bone-chilling type of thing, war in itself. Um, I I know a lot of people have been talking about the political aspects of the film in the uh, uh, pro-nuclear statement and all that. There are those different things that people can interpret it. And what, what I see it as and what I think we're, we're working towards is just to show how negative it all is. The war is, especially to these kids. It takes them from childhood to adulthood real fast, and they have to do it. They have to survive. And it's... it's very heavy and, and not, not, a, not a fun or happy thing at all. What was the hardest thing for you to do in the film? Um, oof, just probably survive the cold. <laughs> that was one of the, the, the hardest things. There, um, it's really hard to, hard to say because it's all, even though it was all, a lot of it was very difficult, you were so into it and so enjoyed it so much that it made it seem easy. Almost. But you've been an actor, what, since age two? Yeah. So you just take this as one more thing. This is another element. Well, this is uh, as an adult, so it's uh, sort of different in that sense. Um, I've been working as, ch as a child all those, all those years. Now I'm an adult, so you're treated differently, and it's, it's a harder work. It's more like a job. Are you glad it's done? It was not a picnic to make. I bet. You know, it was really rough. So it w it's always good to work, you know. I like working just about more than anything. Mm. But sometimes it really is hard. Well, you put that behind you, and maybe the next the next film will feature a jacuzzi, a bunch of kids <laughs> around a jacuzzi, and you'll that be able to do just about right. For this. Jennifer Gray, Brad Savage, good luck in your in your Thank film you. career. Thank you. The film we're in right now is called Red Dawn, and it's playing in Nebraska. Please stay tuned. Channel 11 Morning continues.